Hi everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Selena and today I'm going to be starting a new series called Running Off My Baby Weight. Um, if you've seen my channel before, I am four and a half months postpartum and I've had a lot of trouble recently trying to start losing the rest of my baby weight. And I honestly thought when I was pregnant that when I was when I had the baby the weight would just come off naturally week after week. Um, once I got back to my regular old routine, but that is just certainly not the case because here we are five months later and I haven't lost any weight. So um, I thought this was a good time to start this um, series and start running again and everything like that. So I haven't really worked out for almost a year since I've had um, the baby and I stopped actually working out at 20 weeks pregnant and before that from 5 weeks to 20 weeks I worked out very minimally, didn't run and after 20 weeks I didn't do anything just because of things that were going on with me during my pregnancy. So with being such an active person before my pregnancy, I thought it would just be easy to go back to that exact same routine that I was doing before and then my pre-pregnancy body would just naturally come back. And uh, again, I was wrong because my life just changed so much with having a new baby. I was eating very poorly, which I didn't expect. I was exhausted from night feedings. I found it way too hard to go to the gym, um, even work out at home or even go for a 10 minute run. It was like, either do I work out at home or do I take a nap or this or that. And uh, workout always came to the last of my list of um, priorities. And on top of all of that, um, this the stress of being a new mom, all the things that I'm trying to learn, um, my hormones were still all over the place. Week after week, after I was cleared to work out, it was just, I failed at starting some sort of new workout routine. So now that I'm five months postpartum, I feel like I'm established a way better um, home life routine and a support system around me where I'm able to set aside time to focus on myself and a new routine to hit the goals that I want to hit. So you might be wondering like why running and there, there's a couple of reasons for that. So running doesn't just help with your weight control but for me it also helps control my stress and my body's ability to deal with mental tension and I found that exercising by strictly doing strength training and minimal cardio was, was good for my body but it was not good for my mind. And especially having a baby, I found that I have a lot more stress and I'm just worrying worrying more about a lot of things. And I found that when I went to the gym and just did strength training, it didn't help relieve any of that extra mental tension that I had gained from having a baby. So I've decided to do a running training um, just so I can help, it'll help me with the two goals that I wanna hit. Um, so the first goal, which is the ability to run 10 kilometers in less than an hour. So I actually have never ran 10 kilometers ever in my life before. I've actually only ran eight kilometers maximum. Um, and that was when I was training for a triathlon and it wasn't like a big triathlon it was just a beginner's triathlon, which the running portion was eight kilometers. So that was actually the most I've ever ran. Um, and then obviously I was training for like the swim portion and bike portion. So I haven't really ran 10 kilometers, so that's definitely my overarching goal. And in turn, by um, achieving that goal, I really hope that my um, baby weight will come off by doing steps to achieve the 10 kilometer goal. So my, I do have a goal for my weight, which is 135 pounds, which is my pre-pregnancy weight. Um, during my pregnancy, I gained 38 pounds, and then the two weeks after I gave birth, I lost 19 pounds. So that was the baby coming out, which is the baby, my baby weighed about seven pounds and then everything else that came out and then just my bump shrinking in size. So that was my 19 pounds after the first two weeks of birth. And then after that, I've been 154 pounds and I've been 154 pounds for the last couple months now and I haven't been able to lose any of that weight. So I, that's why I've decided to do this because I found that when I did do a lot of cardio, um, it's just so much better for my stress levels and it just helps me so much and um, I enjoy it way more than doing strength training. So I really hope that um, 
I'm able to achieve my goal of 10 kilometers and then in turn um, lose some of my baby weight. So to tackle these goals, I've decided to change my lifestyle with five uh, different ways um, in order to achieve these goals. So obviously the first um, change is going to be running four times a week. So I feel like four times a week is uh, manageable with my schedule. So I believe I'd be able to get to the gym, to the treadmill to run four times a week. Um, I'm not running outside because where I live looks like this right now. So I definitely can't run outside. Um, so four days a week I feel is like a manageable um, goal. And again, I want to remind everyone that I didn't run at all for over a year. So I'm pretty much starting from scratch um, and seeing how far I can run on the first day pretty much. Um, number two is going to be doing strength training three times a week. So I still think strength training is really important. Um, to include after my runs. So after my runs, I'll be doing a quick four to six weight exercise, um, concentrating either upper body or lower body, but nothing too um, technical with the weight training. And then the third change that I'm changing for my lifestyle is drinking more water. So I made a goal of to drink one whole bottle of water once I wake up and one whole bottle of water before I go to bed. So I do drink water regularly, but I feel like I am very dehydrated throughout the day because I do forget during the day because I'm so busy to drink water. So I feel like if I put this goal in place of in drinking one when I wake up and when I go to sleep, then at least I'll have a minimum base of water, um, which is a lot more than I'm currently drinking right now. And then um, the fourth change is going to be um, a diet change. So I didn't feel that it was good for me to do a drastic diet change to lose the weight because it'll just be too much stress on me um, just changing my lifestyle so much by going from not working out at all to running four times a week and then doing a huge diet change. So I just wanted to pick one small goal because I do generally eat pretty well anyways. So my one um, life ch my one change is going to be um, cutting out juice and pop. So I'm going to be cutting out um, juice and pop and only be drinking water and um, Crystal Light I'll add into my water for dinner when I um, have dinner just to have a little bit of change up um, throughout my day. So that would be the fourth change that I'm going to do. And the last and fifth final change is going to be getting at least 8,000 steps on my off days. So I find that um, even though I'm a busy mom, if I'm not um, going to the gym or running that my steps are super low like maybe under 2,000 steps um, just also because I live in an apartment and it's winter where I live so I don't really go outside so I feel like if I do get my steps in on my off days um, it'll really help with achieving these two goals that I have so um, seeing progress is also really important uh, to keep me on track so I've made this spreadsheet which I'll show um, right now So basically, um, as you saw, it's where I'm going to put all my measurements and every two weeks I'm going to be putting um, my running stats in, which will hopefully uh, increase over time um, in time, pace and speed as we go along. So I'll be able to achieve my 10 kilometer um, goal. And to help with my running, um, just because I'm not a runner, I'm going to be enlisting the help of Runners Revolution. Um, I will link their website in the description below and their Instagram as well, um, just to help me with um, being able to reach my goal of 10 kilometers in 12 weeks. And um, as you could see in that spreadsheet, I also added some midterm goals rewards and I feel like I'm a very um, do getting doing things and reward type of person so um, I really can stay on track if there's some sort of reward at the end so not just a reward like with my body but seeing um, something tangible in between um, until my goal is met so at the four week mark even if it's just buying a workout outfit or new shoes or something like that if I do um, achieve my goals in those weeks, then I am going to reward myself throughout the 12 weeks.
So um, I hope you guys come along this journey with me. I will be documenting my progress after every two weeks with a short video. And then also I'll be writing a blog for Runners Revolution on their website. So I do encourage you to check the link in my description and um, follow my blog over there as well so you could see my progress pictures and my running stats and everything like that in more detail um, if you're interested and um, we'll see how it goes so I will see you guys all in two weeks and hopefully with some progress from there um, and I'll see you guys in the next episode bye